Hello and welcome to the Weekly Wind, although it's been a few weeks since I've done the Weekly Wind because I've been up at the beautiful Whidbey Island um, enjoying the eagles walking along the, the passage on the rocks, um, nursing a cold. And I think that the cold was about taking myself inward. And so when I pulled the Weekly Wind and I received Nilchi, I was like, oh, can you see it? I guess you can see it there. Nilchi is the Navajo wind of intuition and listening to your inner voice. And sometimes when you don't listen to your inner voice, then you get, um, you get run down, you get a cold, you, you push too hard because, of course, we're in a culture of do, do, do instead of be, be, be. And so I had to unwind enough to be here uh, on this beautiful place, this beautiful silence. There's something here that's so magnanimous is the silence that one feels that there's an energy of, of silence. Do you know what I mean about the energy of silence? Let me know. So Nilchi is the Navajo wind of intuition. And this wind can be conjured up for inspiration, organization, and ritual, or to provide strength when needed. And there, the Navajo believe that there's this instanding wind that is our soul. And the soul is, is breathed in at your birth, and then when you exhale at your final breath, and you're reunited with the, the soul of the universe upon your death, and understanding that this wind breath is what connects you to everything, including all your knowing, all your being, all your future, all your past, it's a really important wind to understand. So today, Nilchi comes from the north. And when Nilchi prevails in the dark northern quadrant, it signifies that a transformation of faith is possible. Reality mirrors language and not the other way around. So this means how you speak, your reality starts to form. The, what you hear isn't your reality, but how you bring your own words, your own wind into being is by creating your own, by creating a uh, from your thoughts into form through your words. The power of the wind cannot be accurately mirrored in words as it is incomprehensible. Faith is an ever-changing perceptible wind. Sometimes it arrives as a gale of uncertainty at other times as a mother's gentle caress. Wind is a constant reminder that the wisdom of spirit is ever present in your life. Once you understand wind, you will have access to the cohesive elements of energy found in nature. Wow, that's a lot to think about and a lot to speak about. So what we're going to do is we're going to call to Nilchi. <clears throat> and on this first wind breath in, see yourself connecting deep through your feet into the roots of the earth, planting deep, deep, deep into the belly, drawing up that heat from the molten of the center, then we're going to call upon Nilchi to come in and help us expand our intuition today. And then we're going to create a big energy bubble around us so that what we explore in our intuitive psychic space are, are, are positive reflections back out to the world so that we can manifest from this place of service. All right, are you ready? So first, close your eyes, connect to your inner wind, and take that down through the balls of your feet and connect it into the earth. Now let's collectively call to Nilchi, that instanding wind that inspires our soul. And now let's create an energy bubble around ourselves so that our intuition is safe to explore this direct revelations. My friend Anka calls this zipping up where we create an energy bubble that we pull from our, our coccyx bones all the way around us.
Hmm. And may this instanding wind of Nilchi nourish your soul today as you move forward through this upcoming week. Aho.